song? Sure. I was in a flame. Oh, you got it. Then they ran it. Then they got it. The boys and me on the old country was having a drink of wine. We didn't know that the blow was low, so we didn't worry as none. We now go back several decades to the 1977 film Backroads, a film made by Philip Noyce very early in his career, right before he made News Front and Heatwave. Backroads is about two Australian men, one black and one white, who don't initially know each other, but almost spontaneously team together to assault a man and steal his car, heading off for a series of random adventures that involve taking what they need and picking up various other drifters along the way. Backroads was an early lead role for Bill Hunter, who plays Jack, the white man of the pair. He's loud, foul-mouthed and openly racist, often using language that he's confronting by today's standards. Gary. Jack's black partner in crime was played by Indigenous actor Gary Foley. A key theme that runs throughout Backroads is the disenfranchised status of Indigenous people and the racist attitudes of white Australians towards black Australians. Jack often voices condescending and dismissive rhetoric concerning Indigenous people, which sadly isn't that different to a lot of the racism we still hear today. Fortunately, in the film, he's more often than not set straight by Gary and the other Indigenous characters. Had you ever been with a black sheila? No. <laughs> hey, that's your story, mate. No, fair thing, mate. Honestly, I haven't. Ah, oh, come on. I never met a white fella yet who didn't want a bit of black velvet on the side. You know, the film, it very much feels like a product of the late 70s, but there's also something just very modern and vibrant about it as well. This was Phil Noyce's first feature film. It's only 60 minutes long, but he considers it his first feature. Okay. And um, he was trying out things, he was filming on the fly, and it just has that energy. It, and mm. I mean, I think the other thing to mention is that Gary Foley, um, Indigenous activist, he was really significant in setting up the tent embassy um, in the 1972 Whitlam government. And so he said that the only way that he would participate in this film is if he was allowed to write and veto the script. And so I think that really, you know, it really comes through, doesn't it? That there's a real Indigenous input into the script. I noticed at the start of the film, it's, it's credited as being written by Philip Noyce, but, um, but also with the input of the entire cast. And it just works as a road movie, really, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, quite apart from all the political content, although it's a very political film, it's just a really fun, exciting and visually interesting road movie. Yeah, this is a real treat. This is um, you know, a, a rarely seen film and hopefully we'll get a lot more exposure now. Um, it was an absolute pleasure getting to see this and I'm, I'm sure other people are going to really dig it as well. The other notable aspect of Backroads is how much noise seemed to have been influenced by the new Hollywood cinema coming from the USA throughout the late 1960s and 70s. The lack of narrative urgency and strong sense of existentialism evokes films like Easy Rider and in particular Two Lane Blacktop while the scenes containing multiple conversations and overlapping dialogue feel directly influenced by the films of Robert Altman. Nevertheless, Backroads is still a distinctively Australian film and definitely one worth checking out. Mm.